Welcome to Gazraf Tutorials. I'm Gazraf, and today we're going to look at animation. So, in order to get animations to run, we need to consider a couple things. One, we need to go to our build menu and go to world. And under capacities, we have this simulation and animation capacity meter. This meter also includes your player. So animation includes all your animations that are running and your player's animation. So if you have a high player count, this is going to be higher and you won't be able to use as many object animations. In order to kind of reduce this, you want to go into your player settings and where it says maximum player count, you want to set this to what you want your world to be played as. So if you want it to be a four player game, you want to set that down to four. If it's a lot of players you want, if you want the max of 32, then you got to go over your capacity. You can see our player capacity jumped up to 73. So we have like 27% to play around with, with our simulations and our animation. This is very important when you want to use a lot of animations because your player count can mess that up. So we might want to lower that down to four, but it is very important to set this to what you want first because if you want to add later you might not be able to you might have to start removing stuff so in order to animate an object we're going to grab an object so we're going to grab a cube and I kind of showed this in a previous video about object movement I'm going to go into the settings panel the attributes we go to our behavior in order to animate an object we want it to be motion set to animated and then we can record our animation, play it. We have a loop. We can never loop it. We can continuously loop it. And we can go back and forth, which I will show in a little bit. We can adjust the speed. We're going to record a simple animation. So we're going to hit record. And right now it's recording. So we're just going to grab this guy, bring him over here, and hit stop. Now if we want to play this animation, and we hit play, and it'll run our animation that we just recorded. Let's look at some of these other settings. We have play on start, so when the world starts, it'll do this. And we can change the speed, so if we wanted to make this a five, hit return, and now it's gonna be a lot quicker. We can change the loop to continuous, and it's just gonna do that over and over again. We can do back and forth, and just go back and forth just like that. I'm going to turn this off, and I'm gonna set it back to never. Okay, so that's what you can do with no scripts attached. We can add some scripts, so we're gonna go into our build menu, we're gonna to go to gizmos and add a script gizmo. We're gonna to go to actions, and under actions we have a animation section. We can play an animation, we can pause an animation, and we can stop. So play animation, basically what that does is, it's like hitting this button. It's just going to play it. Pause animation. It'll pause it mid-animation. And then if you play again, it will continue from that point. Stop animation will stop wherever it's at, and then it'll bring it back to the beginning. So I'm going to go in here. We're going to record a new animation. That way we can kind of test this, and this is going to be really long. Really long. Let's say right there. And then stop. And I want to bring in another cube just to kind of make like a finish line that way we know so if we play our cube should end right there I'm going to add a trigger so let's go to gizmos and it shouldn't say right about here so what I want is when our cube enters our trigger I want it to pause so we're going to find when trigger is entered by object we are going to need a variable to hold our cube. So we're going to make this an object. I'm going to call this one cube. And when trigger is entered by object, I want to pause our animation. So we're going to pause animation. And the animation is going to be on our cube. So we're going to drag in our cube here. And then when world starts, we're going to play our animation. Drag in our cube. We're going to attach our script to our trigger here. Script one. 
we need to bring in our reference to our cube, which is right here. Drag and drop that guy in there. In order to get it to stop, we need to create an object tag. And we're just going to call this cube. And we're going to need to set trigger on objects tagged. And now we need to add a tag on our cube. We go to attributes, scroll down, and call it cube. All right, so now when our cube enters this trigger, it should stop. Pause animation is called, but now we need to find a way to start it back up again. So we're going to create an event. So when event is received, I'm going to call this play animation. And we're going to run our play animation script when this event is received, and we're going to send event with delay, so we're going to send play anim to self after one second. Our cube will enter our trigger, and after one second it will continue. And there it is. Now if I want, I can say let's go and turn this to a back and forth. Now it'll stop for a second, and it'll keep going, and then it'll come back stop for a second and go and it'll just keep going back and forth doing that every time okay so now if I want to stop the animation I'm going to copy our event and we're going to rename it stop anim and we're going to get rid of our play animation and we're going to go back to actions find animations, grab stop animation, bring in our cube. So instead of play animation, we're going to set this to stop animation. When we hit play, now when it goes and hits that, it'll, instead of calling the play animation after a second, it's calling the stop animation after a second. Just a quick recap on the script, let's get a close up so you guys can see it. So when our world is started, we are using play animation on a object variable we named cube. When the trigger is entered by an object, we are going to pause the animation that is on our cube variable. So after one second, we are going to send our play animation to the object this script is on. And then, depending on which event we're sending it to, whether it's play anim or, or stop anim, we are going to play our animation on the cube variable or stop the animation on the cube variable. That's it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or ideas for future videos, please let me know in the comment section below. If you liked the video, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for my future videos. And uh, have a good one.